His name is Amani. He lives in Miti in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He was born in Lukananda and this is where he met his wife. She is called Faraja Mudelwa. Before they got married, Amani had another wife who was completely fine and normal. But why did he leave her to come and get married to Faraja? His family called him crazy to dump a normal wife to come and get married to a disabled one. Well, this is their story. Amani was born in 1995, which means that today he is 27 years old. Faraja is 21 years old today. In the beginning, he was married. He had a normal and beautiful wife who was non disabled at all. He says that they always used to fight almost all the time that they spent together. They hardly ever agreed on anything. Amani and his wife lived next to Faraja's family. Somehow, Amani was never comfortable when he was at his home. He always used to come and spend most of the time with Faraja's family so that he could get some peace of mind. This is how they met. It all started years ago. He always used to come and help with some housework that needed manpower and spend most of the day with them. She somehow felt like she could offer something in return so she could wash for him clothes in a way of saying thank you. This was in 2015 when they met. They started having feelings for each other and between them what they shared was more than just friendship. Back at home, his wife was always in fights. All that he ever knew was stress 24-7. Later, things changed. He then fell for Faraja. She was the one he loved and he ended up making her pregnant. Later, he decided to leave his first wife and go for the girl that he really loved and wanted to spend the rest of his life with. When my family noticed that I had left my first wife for her, they were not at all happy. They were shocked and they told me that I was crazy to even think of such a thing. I told them that though she was disabled, she is the one I love and wanted to be with. I tried to make them understand that she is also human and she deserves to be loved. That is when I decided to stick by her side forever. He says that there is a big difference between his first wife and the second. The second wife is always satisfied with the little that Amani offers. His first wife was never satisfied no matter how much she was always given. I, I also told my parents that they would help me with getting a bride, but they were not going to help me with the way of living with her and the challenges that we were going to keep facing as a family. That is why I had to choose the one that I knew that we were going to live peacefully. He says that obviously the biggest challenge that they ever face is poverty. She cannot work because she is disabled and the type of job that he has does not give him enough money to take care of his family and give them all their necessities. But he says that this is the way that life goes. They keep on working, hoping that tomorrow will be better than they are today. Due to poverty, they live together now and they are not at all married. They are poor and they say that they cannot afford to put up a wedding ceremony. His parents and family refuse to help him with any financial support for his wedding. They say that he has to do it on his own, though they helped him when he was getting his first wife and this time they do not want to because they are not happy with the wife that he is going to marry. We asked him that if he gets the money required to afford a wedding, would his family be there to support him? And he said that of course they would because they cannot choose a bride for him. They have to live with his decision. Amani is sure that though his wife is disabled, she is better than all the normal women in the world. 
she says that they have now spent two years living together. Amani was their neighbor from long ago and she always used to see him fighting with his first wife each and every day. That is when they also fell in love. After they had been in a relationship for a year, she asked him to leave their parents' house because she was not going to live here forever and this is exactly what they did. They had two children after they started living on their own. Their first child is now three years old. Though people kept laughing at her and discouraging her husband about his wife, all that she had in mind was that he was going to abandon her someday, but this never at all happened and he stayed by her side and never left. The first wife of Amani goes around saying a lot of bad things about Faraja. She says that Faraja bewitched her husband because there was no way that he could ever go for a disabled wife and dump a normal one. She says that she never replies to people that say negative things about her. Today, she does not have a job, but she says that if she gets capital, she would buy a sewing machine and start working because this is what she very well knows how to do. Amani's parents have started accepting the fact that their son is in love with a disabled girl. His siblings are not at all happy with it and they're still fighting their relationship. He says that he is not at all willing to leave her because his first wife was very stressful. She says that she thanks God for having blessed her with such a husband and children. She also thanks her husband for staying after what people kept on saying to discourage him. They say that the most challenges they face today is buying food and paying rent. They also face other problems, but they say that love is what is most important and they are ready to fight together against any situation that will come. They believe that the love between them is stronger than anything. One of the villagers tells us that everyone in this society knows the story of these two. If they truly love each other, it is what matters. The villager says that their families should just let them be because all that a person needs in life is love, peace and happiness. What he tells each and every one watching this story is that they should never go for looks, body shape or even size while choosing a partner to spend the rest of their lives with. Because the looks and all that are surely amazing, but when you get home and start a life together, it's completely a different story. He tells parents out there that when a child is in love, the best they can do is to support them and not judge the person that they are in love with because even disabled people are humans as well. He hears a lot of people normally saying negative things about his wife, but he says to them that the reasons why they hate her are the same reasons why he loves her. What she says to all disabled girls out there like her is don't lose hope because they never know what the future holds. Today or tomorrow, they might find a person that truly loves them for who they really are. She says that parents that have disabled children should support them because they might be very useful in the future, even more than normal children. She needs to buy a sewing machine so that she starts working in order to help her family pay their bills and take care of their children. These funds will be donated via Giving Life. A link that is in the description of this video and pinned in the topmost comment by Afrimax English. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. This is a Fremax English. Do not forget to subscribe.